Hi, Amy. Uh, I'm Pamela Waldrop. I'm president of the Photographic Collective Photo Photo Gallery, and very, very happy to have you here to speak with us the, this evening. I want to congratulate you on receiving first place award for your image prism, and not only that, for also having a second image mate in our show. So uh, I'm Really looking forward to hearing you tell our viewers about your work. Absolutely. Thank you so much uh, to you and your team for organizing such a beautiful exhibition and to Karen Kleindenst for jurying and curating such a beautiful arrangement of photos. Uh, my work, Prism and Mate, each of those two photos are inspired by my objective to use photography to capture those tiny moments in daily life, especially those moments that we might spend with our loved ones that at the time seem insignificant, but as the years go by or as time passes, we realize how precious and how fleeting those moments were. I come to the process of photography from extensive training and experience as a drawer painter and in fact, I started using photography both in my own studio practice and in my teaching practice as an exercise to notice details, to notice the, the tiny moments of everyday life, the things that we might otherwise overlook or take for granted. It makes me and my students better observational drawers, but as time went by, I realized that those photos I was taking had their own voice and their own presence. And I began to pursue photography as a more central part of my studio practice. One of the things we talked about in our uh, wonderful live Zoom reception, where I was very happy to hear you speak about your work then as well, uh, was about the very intimate size of the images and, and how you chose to present them. And now I actually have another question related to that. Um, I was wondering how your, your drawing background informed that decision as well. And was there a difference in how you approached that medium and, and what you brought to the to Prism and Mate? That's such a wonderful question. It's true that when I print my photographs, I tend to print them at an extremely intimate scale. Each of the prints in the show is printed at three and a half by three and a half inches. And it is my desire to draw people into the image to the point where they are almost uncomfortably close to the image, nose to nose with it. In fact, my drawing background, typically in my drawing based work, I've done extremely large work I earned my MFA in painting at the Hofberger School of Painting at the Maryland Institute College of Art, where I worked with Grace Hardigan and really practiced and embodied a lot of the ideals of abstract expressionism, especially the notion of a pictorial space being a space that the artist and the viewer should all confront physically. And so my drawing based work ironically is actually extremely large, either figure-based or even architectural in scale. My largest drawings are 10 feet tall by 30 feet wide in that range. And so the intimacy of the photographic prints exists in contrast to the drawing-based work. Both rely on that physical connection, but each one seeks to build a connection with the viewer in very different ways. That's interesting because I, I was wondering, my guess is that you should you photograph a lot and i do frequently and a lot and so obviously your models are very accustomed to that happening all the time so given that uh, do you still find that you shoot a tremendous amount or less as a result of them being accustomed to it i shoot a tremendous amount I shoot a tremendous amount. Uh, I, it, it's not uncommon on, even on a, a typical day, just if the light happens to be right in the afternoon and the children, when they turn into the sun, if their ears glow red in just the right way, it's not unusual for me to snap dozens or even hundreds of photos. And I try to be as inconspicuous as I can, but they know me to be a shutterbug. Uh, all of our neighbors, all of my friends know this too. If I have my camera out at this point, people just roll with it. It is something that people know about me in that same way that so many of us have loved ones who are known to be shutterbugs. And that's another way that digital photography has made so much possible for me 
shooting film or back in the old days when film was our main option, uh, just the high stakes nature of each individual exposure, I think probably would prevent me from capturing a lot of the images that I do. Uh, but really I shoot like crazy because especially as, a, as someone who comes to photography, not with extensive training, I know that it's just like for my beginning drawing students, you have to make a lot of images to have any hope of making something beautiful. I think the tenderness expressed in both of your images is a real testament though to the uh, comfort level that your models are feeling. And, and that, I guess, is even if they're your own kids, that doesn't just happen. That comes with uh, expectations from both the photographer and the models. I mean, yes. Well, I've really enjoyed hearing about your work. Uh, I, I was also wondering, because you were at our uh, Zoom reception, if there was anything in particular you'd like to say about the show? Uh, the, the exhibition itself, looking at it, uh, it both in, in the PowerPoint, where we were able to enjoy each image independently, and looking at it through that wonderful panned shot around the gallery where we were able to appreciate each photographic print as an object. Uh, most of all, it made me long to be there. It longed, I, I, I longed to be physically present with the work and especially to appreciate the materiality of all the different objects. Hearing the printing processes, seeing how things were framed and presented and hung. Gosh, I wanna be with that work in person. But one of the things I really appreciated very much is how the, the jurying process was one where it wasn't just the selection of individual images, but also a thoughtful process of sequencing those images so that visitors to the gallery could appreciate an unfolding of a narrative idea or an unfolding of a specific conceptual framework for the understanding of photography that viewers could appreciate and enjoy. That was the thing that resonated with me most and that I learned during the Zoom reception. I would definitely urge anyone watching this video to go back and watch that one too and to enjoy all of the individual images. That I will never think about assembling exhibitions or uh, bringing other artists work together in quite the same way again. Thank you. That's very succinctly put. I'm sure our juror, Karen Kleindens, would be overjoyed to hear those remarks. Well, thank you very, very much. I've enjoyed this. Uh, thank so you. Much. Me too. And I, I hope that uh, we'll hear from you again and that if there are, are any um, links that you would like to send us wh where we can see more of your work and keep in touch, that you'll please send those along. And uh, I hope we see more of your work. Absolutely. Everyone can find me at amybroderick.com and I'll send along my socials too. Thank you. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.